right guys welcome back to the ALGS channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far good bit to discuss in today's video because yesterday yes we did mention that ALGS year four was finally announced now we have some more specifics and even mighty tempo going down into a deep discussion as far as which teams may get this mysterious invite into the pro league that did not naturally qualify also we've got good news as it seems like yes many orgs have left apex but one of the big ones the tier one orgs may look to get back in after some recent twitter activity yesterday also we've got to talk about something that is very interesting inside of this deep dive discussion with minus tempo the big one of uh, the big news that we've been all discussing looks like ea may be potentially rumored to finally partner with all of these organizations yes we're excited to discuss it but let's go ahead and dive right into it after you like the video subscribe to the channel and here we go minus tempo starting it off by saying algs year four official rules of course have a few changes the official things that we could see 12 north america teams coming two south america teams coming two china teams coming eight amia eight apac north and eight apac south and then and more right the official like mysterious invites that are going on so we're going to talk about that but one team we know for sure is getting in is keon obviously they had another great yesterday in scrims these guys have been absolutely popping off third first second in the day of scrims and they have been killing it they also retweeted a w guaranteed invite for pro league split because according to minus tippo they are the only team in all of this that has followed this rule as far as like uh i think it's like you know an average split ranking of 15 or better across split one and split two they're the only team i think in all of existence that actually qualifies for that right now so they will be definitely invited to the pro league but then there's those mysterious ones that minus tempo had something to discuss with so roll the clip regarding these teams that could get invited from year three to year four but there should be no cap on here because if what happens if the 12 teams in na that go to playoff one get first to 12th right we should definitely get more than those 12 slots like i don't understand why they added a cap aha year four two teams invited at the discretion of algs the two is now gone. That means that they can invite as many as they want because these LCQ spots are no longer 100% guaranteed. This, this isn't going to be saying EA should be invited. It depends because there, there's also rumors right now going on about some uh, org and some org and uh, EA partner thingy. If that happens to be true, then maybe they're planning on inviting, directly inviting those orgs that they're partnered with, right? Uh, E8 is not in Pro League because they kind of placed very low. Wait, we're all one. So E8 does not have an, E8 does not qualify because they're like all the way down here. Um, but Honestly, Tripod's probably getting invited. I would say E8 probably getting invited. Some, I would say a lot of the bigger orbs might be invited directly. So obviously we have finally heard this mysterious big news that seems to be good and Minus Tempo confirms that there is a rumor that EA is looking to partner with these organizations apparently and if E8 is one of those organizations that they want to partner with of course despite the bad performance despite not doing enough they may still get invited to the pro league based upon that assumption. Tripods obviously is going to get there because Nick Mertz is Nick Mertz at the end of the day and I got to be honest with you like on one hand, I understand Nick Burks did not do enough to get invited. But on another hand, I know that he's done enough to be in that, you know, Nick Merck's clause where they can just invite him because it is Nick Merck's. He's good enough to compete, at least. They do pretty good in the scrims. And honestly, I also think that at the end of the day, I mean, hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I want Nick Merck's to be there. Like, let me not mess anything up here. I really would like to see Nick Merck's compete there. I just feel... 
like it is somewhat of a robbery right people that were so close people that did so good in the lcq and that were just like you know on the cusp and then they don't get invited they get invited over someone who's just a bigger name it is unfortunate stuff to see but you know i guess you could also argue the fact hey build your brand up you know become that guy as well so that you can be a part of that clause i don't know i've seen both opinions on it i've seen some of you got super aggravated about it and then some of you were like totally understanding of it so interested to see what you guys say personally no matter what happens no matter the morals or ethics of it i want to see nick Merckx compete in there just because i feel like you know the household name makes more viewership and honestly apex more viewership makes it all better for us anyways but i do think that there needs to be some clarity i would just rather apex get rid of that rule instead of just saying you know we get to invite people at our discretion just say it's for the clause it's for the, the clout clause it's for whoever has the most viewers or whoever's going to bring us the most viewers right i would like to see that also there's still been a lot of talks about dark zero of course they did officially make that roster change and we knew that they were going to based upon some of the tweets that i made that it was guaranteed some of the rumors though we weren't sure exactly what was true a lot of people are still throwing the name around for waltzy but zz their coach did go ahead and clear up i don't know why people were spreading this that you know they were not not coming back they were just you know they're only renewing their visas that's why they're not currently playing right now they're trying to get back to na even the clip that we showed a couple of weeks ago they're trying to get their visas back to na who's going to be their third a lot of people are considering guild a lot of people are considering waltzy maybe coming back with them who really knows what's going to happen at the end of the day i think waltzy would be honestly a really good addition to this roster because i think guild already doesn't like you know the way that the camp was at nrg so i don't think it's going to really work that well with this camp either because zero is obviously obviously pretty similar to sweet in the way that they like to IGL and I think that uh guild's going to do better under a different dynamic now at the end of the day I think guild is just a cracked out player regardless they will probably win a championship with guild I just don't know how long that roster would last but Waltzy on the other hand I think those guys could really go a far far distance together because they're all veterans they're all seasoned and uh, I just think that would be such a good roster honestly if, if dark zero gets guild or Waltzy I personally think that they are going to immediately become the number two team, but in my opinion, the number one team. I think the world will see them as a number two. I think Dark Zero is honestly going to win at least another championship this year with whatever roster change they make. Also wanted to mention, though, this is the good news. We talked about organizations and this EA partnership that might exist coming from E8 or Minus Tempo. And if E8 does get that partnership, of course, they're going to get invited to the Pro League. But why else would teams that have left the uh, Apex scene, why else would teams that have trashed the ALGS scene and blamed EA for bad support, finally be coming back well it seems like that partnership thing that rumor that good news that finally ea could be supporting their orgs is actually true this was coming from last night apex orgs potentially to rejoin algs amidst the backlash coming from apexglobalseries.com my website that i run and i wrote this article by myself by the way it took a lot of time anyways you had horizon union leave yesterday or the day before yesterday then you had rambo come out and saying not just to toot my own horn or toot the horns or anything but people are working behind the scenes and uh, obviously there are great things coming just be patient well then you get yesterday space station gaming respond to the algs year four announcement looking like they're a little bit interested now of course this is all speculation but why in the world would they interact with this if they had no plans whatsoever to come back they did say years or months ago on cutnoid's twitter that they would be interested in coming back to algs and returning if ea got their act together and started to actually support their org also don't forget that sweet in a recent live stream had said that despite all these orgs leaving there actually is a surprising amount of orgs looking to get back into the scene or looking to join the scene also so some pretty exciting news in today's video of course like the video if you guys want to stay up to date all things algs related subscribe to the channel and until the next time we'll see you all later gators